This episode is brought to you by Two Lined Music Hut Store.com. Two Lined Music Hut Store.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves, and bags. Also, t shirts like hip hop, nature, rock bands, reggae, and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's Two Lined Music Hut Store.com. Now, let's check out this episode. So, it's just keeping yourself relevant in a different way because nothing in life lasts. Mm-hmm forever more than a good salvation you understand yeah so you have to know how to keep yourself relevant amongst mm-hmm. the generation because the thing is that well a lot of artists don't realize that it's not like you as an artist die mm-hmm. it's not like you as an artist stop singing mm-hmm. it's not like you as the artist especially me stuck into the the past. We're not stuck in the past. We flow still go and we have new flows and different things. Mm-hmm. But your fans your fans grow old. Some people go to church, some people drop out, some people in the dance hall business again. So mm-hmm. as your fans who really leave you, it's not really you who leave the fans because you still have the music. That's a good one. Uh, uh, and this is maybe the first time it explained like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've seen about two people, I've been saying my brain and that yeah. thing, you know what I'm saying? So what you have to do now, you have to create new fans mm-hmm. as an artist where, in the business from back then, and you have to keep yourself fresh. Mm-hmm. You have to make, when I would see him, say, that big man there, big man there look fresh, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? And anything where you wear him, that way too. Mm-hmm. But you know, drop your pants way down below your waist, you know? But you have to keep yourself mm-hmm. up. So you have that respect. So mm-hmm. you just keep it yourself open and can't drop a game, you know? You have to understand how it goes out there. Crazy. And as you said, keeping up. There was a name that you had brought up from in the 80s, and I know you've done a song with him now, which is Yami Bolo. Yeah. All right. How did that come? How did you guys collaborate together with that song there now? Well, as you know, Chumi and Yami Bolo mm-hmm. is from back. You understand me? So you find, you know, when him come here, you know, mm-hmm. Some local thing did happen where, you know, some man like deal with artists. Mm-hmm. Like them not no respect. So, him linked me and now say, well, then, our thing not stay like that. You know what I say? Mm-hmm. So, when him linked me now, me and him start link up back. Yeah, because uh, me, Yami Bowl and Tenasa, you know, so they right on my yard gate. You yeah, understand me? I say, Tenasa too, yeah, boss? Yeah, me, Yami Bowl and Tenasa, and Nitty Gritty. Oh, so, like Nitty Gritty, you know, so they have a yard gate up in there with them guitar, you know. See, then I saw live next door when he come from country, you know. See, in a week, I'm going to stir my eyes. I said, I'm going to sing by burning spirit, too. Then I saw. Yeah, man. Okay, you know what? You're the best person to access then. That style that Nitty Gritty and Tenasa they both similarly have. Oh. Who was the first one to really come up with that style? That's Nitty Gritty. It was Nitty Gritty? Yeah, man, that's Nitty Gritty, man. Have anybody ever seen for me trial and crosses? All right, now we don't need no glasses. Yeah. You know what I'm So, him take on to Tenasa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, say him and Sugar Miner is more closer. Nitty gritty and Sugar yeah. Miner. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you man promotion now. <clears throat> I'm bringing, I'm bringing Tenasa. Mm-hmm. And I start singing and get the highlight. So, in time, them come a man in time, right at my gate in there. Right at my gate, Pain Avenue. Right That's at the wild. Tree, so, yeah, mm-hmm. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.